Hi, this is Ronnie, and this is my video response to Sarah Scrap from Scratches April Challenge. Um, she's been having a theme for her challenges, and this month she couldn't think of anything that happened or was happening in April, except that April 2nd was her and her husband's seventh year anniversary from a kidney transplant. Sarah donated a kidney to her husband. And it's been seven years. So the challenge was to make something to do with like get well or um, surgery, somebody in the hospital, a boo-boo, you know, anything along those lines. And so I decided to make a layout. And my layout has got my picture of my little granddaughter, Charlie. And her and her sister were born two months early. And so they were in the neonatal unit in St. Louis, and they got jaundice. So they put them under the billy lights in the incubator. And when my son brought me my camera back, he was telling me about the pictures he took, and he said that they were like little bathing beauties under the billy light. Anyway, I, this page is only of one of them, but I'm making them a book, and... I wanted some of the pictures with them together and some apart and some of the layouts with them together and some apart. And of course these pictures, they're not together in them anyway, but there are a couple when they, right before they came home from the hospital where they're together. But I wanted to give them each one. And so this one's my submission for Sarah's challenge and the paper I used is Little Yellow Bicycle Tiny Princess and I thought well she's like a little tiny princess and I only had one sheet so I had to kind of cut it apart so behind here is like a big chunk out and I used it here and also on that label right there um, the font, uh, font say, my title is Billy Blue Baby uh, since I waited to the last minute to decide to use this picture, I was going to originally use a picture of my sister after her surgery. But then I thought of this picture and then I had it. And so I thought, you know, well, it and Reagan's also. Uh, I'm going to do one of them instead. So <clears throat> it's not very great title, but I thought, well, you know, seven-year-old won't care. <laughs> but anyway, the Billy's from the Wonder Thickers. And then the blue is from, I got all this stacked here, the Lovely Thickers. And then the baby, it is from the Elm Thickers. And they originally looked like this, which, you know, was a little bit too light for my layout. And so I painted them with craft paint from Walmart. And it worked out pretty good. And then... Here comes the sun, comes from this Bow Bunny thicker sticker, cardstock sticker set. And um, I made a tab behind it and rounded it with my corner chomper and used the quarter inch. And here I use uh, two different heart punches and neither one has a name. They're pretty old. Uh, well, I think one of them does. Let me look. It is... I can say Provo Craft. The smallest one's Provo Craft, but the other one don't have a name on it. And um, over here in this section right here, um, the Bathing Beauty came from a Pebbles cardstock thicker set. And then the Sweet came from Heidi Grace. And um, I layered it on top of a label. And the metal, it's a metal rim label, and I got them from Adela, who is Dallas, Texas Mama. And the pink right here, you can see, is the same cardstock as this, the same paper as this. And I just took it from behind the picture. And the flower that I use, well, it's two flowers. It's some flowers from my stash, and a little tiny brad. And I layered my sticker here. And then over on this side, I used um, the same papers and cardstock, and I used um, a set of stamps I got from Adela also, and it's called 
One Little Dreamer. And um, I used the noted and the Chevron Arrow thing. Worked out really great, Adela. Thank you. And over here, I used the regular Dymo label maker and put 2005 because that was the year they were born. And added another little flower and a heart. Anyway, that's my layout. And you still got time to get in on it. Um, I would kind of waited till the last minute again. It seems like it's been happening a lot lately. I get behind and then I'm looking at the date on a challenge and think, man, I got to get that one in. So lately I have been almost late on a few and it was raining earlier and I heard a little bit of thunder in the background and I thought, oh man, I got to get this done. My electric goes out, I can't upload. My internet goes out, I can't upload. And I'll miss it. So Anyway, I thought I better get it done, get it uploaded, and I enjoyed doing it. Thank you so much, Sarah. Like I said, I've had this picture almost eight years and haven't got it done yet. So, it's a good thing you had your challenge, so I got it done. And I can put it in her scrapbook. Anyway, thanks so much for the challenge, Sarah. And I'll leave a link below so you all can go check out Sarah's channel and maybe get in on the challenge. Uh, all you have to do is do a layout concerning, you can even do a card with a uh, get well card. So go ahead and go over to the channel, check it out, and thank you all so, so much for watching. Bye!